So you could be in a dilemma right now, probably because you lack the resources to undertake a very important project at your school or working place. Or you might be in need of money to pay for some essentials and to live by on. You might be lacking funds to take care of some responsibilities at home. At this moment, you feel helplessly in need and you probably have nowhere to run to for help. And you are getting depressed and retrogressing in your activities, leading to a poor quality of life for you and making you sad. If you are at this point in your life, remember that there is a God who is a God of plenty. Remember that this God of plenty has enormous and abundant resources even your needs cannot exhaust. This God can provide for all your needs endlessly. Ephesians 3 verse 20 tells us, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. So no matter the inexhaustible list of things you think you need, God can provide them all. And not just stopping there, He can do even more than that which we think we need. He does not even stop at what we need or what we ask for. The verse tells us that He can do far more than we can think or imagine. Beyond your growing needs and desires, God can do abundantly more for you. It does not reduce the wealth he has, and he is not limited in any way. Philippians 4 verse 19 says that God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. His supply of your needs is not based on your capacity. It is according to his resources, and he has so much resources in his care. If he could create the heaven and the earth, what then is hard for him to do? Silver and gold belong to him, and he knows the secret to the wealth of hidden treasures. All he needs to do is speak, and it is done. Once he speaks over your life, you will see the supply to your needs met. Just name it. Do you need riches, power, promotion, security, health, long life, joy, children, influence, glory? All of these can be found in God. God has been showing his power of providence right in the Bible days. Below are a few instances where God demonstrated that he is truly a God of plenty. 1. Manna and Quail for the Israelites Exodus chapter 16 covers an interesting story of the Israelites while traveling to the Promised Land. The Israelites had left Egypt where they were forced into labor. Here God used his servant Moses to get them out of Egypt. But while they were on their journey to the promised land, they were starving and started to grumble and wish they were left at Egypt where they had enough food to eat. Seeing their predicament, God sent them food. In the day, he sent them manna, which was like bread. And then in the evening, he gave them quails, which filled up their camps for meat. He provided for them just enough, and he did this for them for 40 years consistently. This shows a powerful instance of God displaying his ability to provide for his people in plenty and abundance, above their expectations. 2. Feeding the 5,000 God's power of providing abundantly and in plenty is also seen in the New Testament, where through his son Jesus, he fed over 5,000 people by multiplying just a little amount of food. Matthew 14, verse 13 through 21, shows us the full story in detail, where Jesus went to a secluded area after hearing about the death of his cousin. A huge crowd of people followed him there, and having compassion for them, healed their sick. When it was nearing evening, his disciples told him to send them away so they can get food, but rather, but instead he got a lunch from a boy consisting of just five loaves of bread and two fish. He lifted it up and gave thanks and God multiplied it and it fed 5,000 people. And the amazing thing here is they had over 12 baskets full 
are the leftover crumbs. 3. The Miraculous Catch of Fish Another New Testament instance of God's miracle of plenty is at the moment where Jesus, after preaching, got into Simon's boat and asked him to cast his nets into the water and harvest some fish. Simon complained that they had been in the water all night and had caught nothing. But when Jesus asked him to cast his net, he caught a large harvest of fish. The harvest was so large his net started to break and he had to call on other fishermen for help. In awe of this awesome miracle, he knelt and begged Jesus to leave him as he was a sinner and did not feel worthy of this miracle of plenty. He later went on to become one of the 12 disciples of Jesus. This amazing instance of God's ability to miraculously provide in plenty and abundance is captured in Luke chapter 5 from verse 5 to 11. In these contemporary days, the God of plenty might not have to necessarily rain down money as he did with manna from heaven in the Bible days to make you smile. There are various ways that the God of plenty can use to provide for your numerous needs and heart's desires so that you can smile. Some of these ways could be by God sending a helper your way. It could be a stranger, a family member, a long lost friend, or even a person who you might not even be expecting any reasonable help from. God could also grant your needs and plenty by giving you an idea or solution that can be able to solve your problem. This idea that he has given you might be the key to your plentiful. And this idea could come to you through a dream, vision, and personal thought, or through advice from people God has positioned around you. Now you know that the God of plenty can still provide for you abundantly above your need and then make you to smile. Remember that he has promised in various portions of the Bible that he will abundantly bless you with plenty in all you do. So when you are down, sad and in dire need, remember to declare these verses and remind yourself of God's promise to bless you plentifully. Deuteronomy 30 verse 9 says, And the Lord thy God will make thee plenteous in every work of thine hand, in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy land for good. For the Lord will again rejoice over thee for good, as he rejoiced over thy fathers. Another powerful verse of God's promise to bless you plentifully and therefore make you smile is Deuteronomy 28 verse 12 and it reads the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season and to bless all the work of thine hand and thou shalt lend unto many nations and thou shalt not borrow however for you to begin to enjoy all these promises of God to make you smile by meeting your needs in abundance and in plenty, there are some criteria you must meet. First of all, you must believe that the God of plenty can come and intervene in that moment of dire need. It is only through your faith that you can invite him to bless you abundantly. In addition, you must live a godly and holy life and obey his words. In conclusion, Acknowledge that the same God who blessed his children with plenty in the Bible time can still do that for his children in this new age as he is still the same God yesterday, today and forever. So whenever you are in that moment of dire need and helplessness, remember that the God of plenty has promised in his word to make you smile and that God never breaks or goes back on his promises.